Okay, so I went to eBay real quick. Just noticed they changed their logo. But uh, anyway, this is the serial LCD I'm using. Uh, it's one like this anyway. You can see they're twelve ninety eight on eBay. Uh, it says DF Robot, or you might see Sane Smarter. This mine actually says YW Robot, just like this one. And uh, you can tell there's a um, so there's a pot on the back there uh, to adjust the contrast and you can find here's a there's a link to download the library because you have to use a liquid crystal uh, I squared C library um, and I've actually already loaded up the um, hello world code this is the hello world of the uh, I'll show you where I got it examples and this is the uh, library I'm using liquid crystal I squared C 1602v1 and uh, I just did the hello world and then I changed it this is the name of the robot box dash E that's what I'm calling the robot at least for now and uh, we'll go ahead and upload this code I'll hook it up and we'll take a look I'm going to do a uh, do a simulated display of the ultrasonic sensors. So the way we're going to do that, we have four sensors. So we're going to need to set the cursor each time. We're going to use a set cursor command uh, to position the cursor where we want to display our information. So first, we're going to um, go ahead and let's see. We're going to do our uh, we're going to do our labels across the top, and the first parameter is the column, and the second parameter is the row. So we're going to do column one, and row is zero. That's the top row, okay? And then we're going to do print. Uh, just do A for sensor A. Okay, then I'm going to copy this, paste it three times, and we're going to, all of these labels are going to be on uh, row zero. I'm just going to move each one over by four. So make this one on uh, column five, this one's going to be on column nine, this one's going to be column thirteen. We'll call this A. I'll tell you what, we're going to do. We'll do a uh, right. Do the. Uh, do these where they're actually at in relation to the screen when it's on the robot. Okay, so now our label should all print across the top copy this whole thing paste now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same positions but we're going to go to the second row which is row 1 and I'm going to do some simulated data here this three inches and we'll make this uh, 23 we'll make this 18 and we'll make this uh, 45 let me do a quick verify uh oh print was not okay there's some problem oh I'm not doing LCD dot print for each one of these. Duh. So I'm glad I did a verify before I sent it. I'm 
pretty careless programmer, so I'm not surprised. Now let's do a verify again. Okay, looks like we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this to the Arduino, and we're going to take a look at the results. Okay, we're back at the boxy bot. And I'm going to just go ahead and zoom in on the LCD screen. And power up. Let's see what we get. And that's exactly what we were looking for. I was just looking for uh, labels for each one. And the way I had this set up, I've got... Uh, back out a little bit. I've got uh, left, right, A, and B. And I have it set up the same on the screen. That's going to help me when I go to debug these sensors. So our next step is going to be uh, to go ahead and program the sensors and get the sensors to display the distances they're measuring on this screen. Okay, I'm back and I, I was going to show you guys as I wrote this code, but it kind of got to be a pain in the butt and uh, it took me I'll be honest, it took me a couple hours to get all the refresh rates right, and then I, uh, I ran into a problem. Two of the four sensors that I installed on the bot were dead, so that was two out of the six I bought were dead, dead on arrival. Uh, so I replaced those, I got that figured out, and it was a pain in the butt because I had to fig try and figure out if my wiring was bad or my code was bad or what, so that took a little while. Uh, anyway, here's the code, and the op the goal of this code is to simply read the sensors and display uh, ultrasonic distances on the LCD, and um, that's all it's going to do. And once I get that down, I already know the motors uh, the motors will drive the bot, and I'll just use this information with that to create a first robot program. But for now, let's look at this sensor test. Uh, I'll just run through the code real quick. I have my includes. This is the uh, ultrasonic library. Uh, this is the wire.h which we need to communicate with the uh, liquid crystal because it uses I squared C. And then this is the actual liquid crystal I squared C library. So uh, here we're defining and defining four ultrasonic sensors. Uh, Sonic A, Sonic B, Sonic L, Sonic R. Uh, A and B are the two fronts. L is left, R is right. And these are the pins they're hooked up to on the Arduino. Then this is just the uh, address information for the uh, liquid crystal display. This is the actual address here, the 0x27. That's the I squared C address. Then this is the number of uh, columns and this is the number of rows. Okay, and LCD init basically turns the uh, LCD on, LCD backlight turns the LCD backlight on. Um, I have a little splash screen going here. Uh, it's going to do box E, and then see the set cursor 0, 1. What that does, it starts the uh, first column on the second row. There's two, there's two rows here. Uh, the set cursor command, it's a uh, this is the column in the first position, this is the row in the second position. On a two uh, row display, row one will actually be zero and row two will be one. Um, so I have it starting on the second row with this line here, uh, meanpc.com, and I have it displaying for two seconds. After which it'll clear. Then it'll go back uh, LCD set cursor one comma zero, that's basically the top left. You could also do uh, home or some other command like that. Um, then I have it just printing out uh, RBAL. That's just a, uh, the first row to display uh, labels for each sensor. Now we're into the meat of the program here. I have uh, four variables, distance A, distance B, distance left, distance right. And uh, we're going to come through with our, uh, this is the command here to actually find the distance sonic r dot ranging and then in parentheses inc and the inc uh, sets inches. If you wanted to do centimeters for some ungodly reason, like maybe you're European 
you would do cm instead. I was just kidding about the ungodly reason. I just don't think in centimeters. Uh, and I do that for each one of the sensors, okay? And I have a delay, uh, five millisecond delay, just because 20 mil milliseconds in the scheme of things, it's not going to matter. And I want to make real sure that none of the uh, none of the signals, especially on the front A and B, are getting uh, mixed up. Like I don't want B to receive A's pulse, or vice versa. So putting a five millisecond delay in there ought to uh, curtail any of that kind of stuff. All right. And now we're going to go to uh, LCD set cursor one comma one. That's going to be uh, actually the second character of the second row. So we already have our display, uh, not our display, our uh, label. Labels on row one. Now we're going to row two to actually print out the data. And for each each one of these, I have an if statement. Uh, if distance r is greater than 16, then we're just going to print these two little number signs. That's basically going to just be a uh, an out of range or null. I don't really trust these things past 16 inches. So um, and 16 inches is is pretty far, really, especially for a small robot. Uh, I wouldn't trust any distances past that with these cheap sensors, anyway. Uh, so if the distance is greater than 16, then we're going to print this these two characters here. Otherwise, we're going to actually print the distance. Then we're going to print just two blank characters. And the reason we're printing these two blank characters is if let's say the previous run you print out a distance of uh, 14 and then the next time through the program your distance is say 6 well there's still going to be a f there's going to be a, a 1 4 there and whenever you print the 6 it's not going to overwrite the 4 it's just going to overwrite the 1 so you're going to have uh, you're going to have a, a 64 instead of just a 6 so whenever you uh, Whenever you print your distance, you're just going to print two blank spaces afterwards to clear any uh, any trash from the previous run. Then we're going to set a uh, cursor to the fifth column and do the same thing for each one of the sensors in the corresponding row. And uh, that's it. The code's pretty simple, and the Sonic library is pretty easy to use. Just this one little command right here. Sonic, the name of the uh, the name that you set for that sensor up here dot ranging and then I have inches you could do centimeters and that returns the distance so couldn't ask for it to be much easier than that I've already got the code loaded so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and we'll take a look at the uh, sensors running zoom in so we can get a look at the screen and hopefully this will come through. It's really hard to record this LCD screen. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. You can see right now we've got uh, objects at 15, 10, 10, and 13 inches. I'll back up See the problem is once I once I back out, you're just not going to be able to see the screen anymore. You just got to take my word for it, I guess. Uh, but I'll I'll zoom back in on the screen. And I'll start moving stuff around. And it's got pretty good tracking. Like independent tracking on the uh, two front ones, which I wanted, because I wanted to be able to uh, kind of see like if an object's in front of it, see if it's on the left or the right side, and then determine whether to turn left or right using uh, the information from those, and then the side side sensors too. No back out and. get a little picture of what's going on here see so now it's saying the objects are uh, the screen is not this hard to read 
<laughs> in real life, I promise. Let's see. Okay, now it's saying the objects are 5, 2, 10, and 7 inches away. Get a little look. And, yep, 5, 2, 10, and 7. Going around this way. And that looks like a pretty close approximation. I wish I could show you all better the, the screen and the object at the same time, but I just can't. Uh, take my word for it, it works well. Uh, Next, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, robot up and running.